close your prop plane. Good boy. Right, now this morning, we have a major, major problem. First thing I have to do is take Jasper to preschool. And then I've got to go and get myself a coffee from Costa because our coffee machine needs descaling and it does no longer work. Time to get that coffee. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it to the one coffee. Handily enough, the ones that you get from Costa are like seriously caffeinated. But I, I definitely need something. And until I get this machine uh, descaled, and we can't do that at the moment because we don't have the descaling liquid. I might see if they've got something that'll do the job in Tesco's actually. But it did manage to remember to preheat the car this morning. So that was nice. I always like getting into a nice toasty warm car first thing. Well that's one problem solved at least. And I did get a bit of descaler so uh, I mean they do say you're supposed to use the Nespresso descaler but I'm kind of desperate for coffee. And everything's getting all Christmassy as well. It's quite a funky uh, cup, actually. <laughs> quite like that. Mm. Oh, caffeine. Yes. Yes. So what I was going to talk about today it was always going to happen. And now it's official. Yes, it's the Tesla charging for supercharging. It's out in the open. They're going to be charging money for it. Charge port door still sticks a bit sometimes. It's kind of annoying. Skateboard's on charge. I'm gonna have a quick run. Time is really short today because I was a bit lazy with editing and uh, had loads to do this morning. So then I think I'm going to head out and have a little go with my skateboard to get me out in the fresh air for a little bit. But I need to be quite quick because it'll be time to pick up Jasper really soon. That coffee went down a treat though. It's the only reason I'm still conscious. This is not good. I already feel a little bit on the queasy side and I've not even started running yet. And I tell you what, two weeks of not being on the running machine and eating too many cookies, it's not being kind. And neither were the weighing scales. Seriously, this is not cool. Oh, the terrible irony of running is that if you don't run very often it's so much more painful and the end result is not motivating because you don't lose any weight you don't gain any muscle you just stay the same if you run regularly it becomes enjoyable so somehow i've got to get back to running every day which will really help with my sad so that makes a makes perfect sense and now that's done so let's talk superchargers. For Tesla, the superchargers coming with some sort of a cost isn't, I don't think, the end of the world because with a large battery Tesla, you've got so many options as to exactly, whoa we. This is the bumpy bit that my penny board can't deal with. So we'll see how a slightly larger wheeled skateboard, oh Jesus, I'm still going completely numb from the Knees down. Now, how much of a difference it makes to people who are thinking about buying a car? That's a question I can't really answer. I know for me personally, the fact that supercharging was free is a large part of how I managed to justify the purchase in the first place. And I am a little bit concerned when they say things like less than the price of filling a comparable gas car. Uh, that is a pretty wide spectrum. So yeah, I think it's, it's that new customer acquisition that's the big thing for Tesla. Of course, there is a flip side to that, which is that Tesla is looking for a big push in its Q4 to try and meet those end of year numbers. And the fact that you have to order before the end of the year is certainly going to be a bit of a boon. Can we get up this hill? My money's on no. Little bit of weaving to help it out, but yeah, we got that. One thing's for sure though, I would certainly miss it. If 
If I was in the market for a new Tesla, which I'm not, but if I was, then I would certainly be thinking of getting one sooner rather than later. Speaking of which, if anyone is planning on getting one sooner rather than later, my Tesla referral link is in the description below. Oh, did I forget to mention, Tesla are giving their owners 400 kilowatt hours of free supercharging a year, which basically equates to about a thousand miles worth. Oh, chilly business. Well, I mean, I think, I think we've basically covered all the main points here. It, do I think it's a good thing? I think it's a necessary thing. I think it's good that Model S and Model X owners are included. I think it should work the same for all the vehicles that Tesla sell. I think it's good that existing owners continue to have the use of the supercharger network on the same basis as they originally bought the car. I think it will weaken the argument for getting one for the people who sort of like myself can't really afford one. It's a bit of a marginal decision, you know, do I have a slightly smaller mortgage and buy an ordinary car or do I have a really big mortgage and buy a Tesla? That's kind of how the decision breaks down for some people. I think those people are going to be put off the idea of buying one, at least until they become a little bit cheaper. So that's not a good thing. And the only thing that I'm really sort of a little bit concerned about is this sort of less than the price of a comparable gas car. Well, a comparable gas car would cost 30 quid to drive a couple of hundred miles. I think if they charge 30 quid for a couple of hundred miles worth of electricity from superchargers, that's gonna be a bit of a hard sell. Because I think ultimately the thing about electric cars is they have to be cheaper to run. They cost more to buy at the moment, so they have to be cheaper to run. Right, I'm going to, what have we got? What's the time? Oh my God. Okay, I've probably just about got time to descale or try to descale the Nespresso machine. Yeah, let's do that. All purpose descaler. Honestly, I can't believe there's any difference between this descaler and the proper Nespresso one. That didn't work. So far this is not going to plan. Okay, that was a bad idea. Now we run it through with fresh water two times. I always find that it still tastes of descaler afterwards, no matter how many times you run it through. So I'm gonna run it through about four times. I think it's gone into some kind of meltdown mode because I've been just pressing the button so many times now. I am gonna get a coffee out of that thing. Come hell or high water. Just it might take a little while. It always, these, these things always seem to be like sort of half an hour, 45 minute jobs. It's unbelievably irritating, but gotta have my coffee. Well, I've just about finished the descaling, oh, it's quite a job. But I haven't had the opportunity to actually get a coffee out of it yet. Because it's time to go get Jasper. Fantastic, now I get to find out if that coffee is gonna be drinkable or not. Well, it's working, the question is, will it taste okay? I can still taste the descaler in there a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna do me any permanent damage. I'm sure it'll be fine. Besides, I've got my caffeine now, so I'm all right. Okay, well, I hope you've all enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. Am I making that concentration face? That's not good. 
So what we're talking about when it comes to things like, you know, it's really difficult to concentrate while doing this. Like, really difficult. 